Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Dan here. Welcome to the game unboxing for uh, November 6th. I almost forgot. Uh, and today we are unboxing Halo 4 in a limited edition. Now, I'd like to just show you guys really quickly uh, if I pan the camera accordingly. If you guys can see that. It's right at the top corner of this, 1 in the morning. Uh, I just got back from the midnight launch pretty much like a few minutes ago. Um, and let me tell you, it was the busiest midnight launch I've attended so far since I moved to this side of the city. And, uh, like, well, let's just put it in perspective. I was 158, no, 157 in the, in the serve, in the express lane, just to keep it in perspective. And at the other minute, I was just, I attended the highest number I ever was, was 42, so, or something like that. So, pretty different, uh, but I still got out of there rather quickly when I think about it. There's just, you know, a lot of people, a lot of bodies, so it made it kind of, kind of tough to stand there, but I brought my girlfriend this time, so it was a little better, so, anyway, um... Anyway, this is the limited edition, uh, the best edition you can get. I also saw people carrying out the, uh, the uh, big boxes. I'm like, what the hell is that? And then I, I, I clued in. That was the limited edition consoles that you can buy. Uh, definitely not worth it. Well, if you need a new console, go nuts. But if you don't, why, right? So anyway, I just want the goodies and such. So off camera right here, I have the pre-order bonus. Uh, there's actually two of them. The reason I'm not showing it is because what they've done is... Um, a typed out code for forest armor uh, is like plastered right on the front and it's completely taped and I can't really get it off, I tried. So I'm just going to leave it and it, it just shows a picture of, you know, I'll try to cover this up for you guys and show you the what the actual pre-order bonus is. Uh, yeah, arctic weapon skin as well, that's for the battle rifle and then you get the, uh, the forest armor skin for your character but the code is literally vertical on this thing because they have to do it in bulk, right? So that's all that is. Uh, that's your pre-order bonus. Now I'm kind of anxious to see what's in here. I had a brief look at what they gave you, but I never really saw it. Now this is kind of an interesting case. It comes in, well it basically shows you everything on the back here. The Reclaimer Saga begins. Begins, wait a minute, what? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, it shows you everything that's here, but... Wait, why is it like that? Why is... Oh, okay, sorry, I'm being stupid here. So anyway, I'm gonna take out of this thing. Pretty interesting case. Uh, you kinda have to like peel this thing back here to grip it and pull it out. It's pretty easy. Anyway, it's just a holder. So this is the actual UNSC. It's pretty neat. I'll see if I can give you guys a good angle here. Pretty nice there. Uh, this is the first time I'm opening it. Oh, I see how it opens. It actually opens vertically. I wasn't expecting that, so like this. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna take all this stuff out so you guys can see everything. So I'm just going to two lanes here while I work around. That's everything, right? Yep. All in a little slip cover. Nothing left in here. I'll just put that under here. Okay. I actually really, really like this case. That looks really sick. Uh, lots of stuff here. I'll just show you. I'm fanning it. I'm fanning what you get in here. All right. We'll start from back to front. So, in back. What is this? Let me just look real fast. Is this an arc? What is this? Property of Spartan Gabriel Thorne. I think this is like a modern, uh, what is this? What, is, what the hell is this? A modern, uh, journal. Look at this. I'll show you guys here. It's pretty neat. It's, it's okay. It's, it's like this, like, paper here. And then you got all these notes. Like a journal, see? It's written like a journal. Like, I, sorry, wait, Palmer. It said, property of Gabriel Thorne, but you got a bunch of Sarah, Sarah Palmer stuff. Is this, this kind of like an, I don't even know, this is kind of like a, I'm not even so sure what this is, I'm sure someone will correct me. Showing all the weapons, and at the back you have this loose stuff. Really loose paper, I have no idea what this is, hold on. Oh, this is a folded paper, hold on. This was folded to me. It, it's giving you stats of weapon tests. That's kind of interesting. War game session summary. And their point and their points. You have Thorn on here as well. That, can you see that? It's got all your points and match results. So it's like sport and there's their uh what's the call here? And there's one last thing on the back. And the cool thing is this back thing is actually made of like a plexiglass thing. I can't really explain it. And you also have a note to Thorn. From Hoya. Still looking for more. 
but I found this on the network. If she uh, did put the engine in the thing, then this has to be a letter to her, yeah? It's kind of neat. It's like you have your own little thing to look at, obviously. But that's different. I've never seen many things like this. You have a bunch of journal entries. That's cool. I mean, yeah, I've, I've had things with journals in them, but this is a different one. So that's that. Uh, what else do we have? Wait a minute. Oh, that's this. What's in here? There's a package. I don't really want to rip it, but I'm going to have to. It's a package. It's got a UNSC bar. You know what? Should I leave it in here and uh, keep it for the collector's sake? No, I'm opening it. I don't believe in that shit. What is this? Message handling instructions. Do not remove from S deck. Look at this. Special edition weapon stuff. Does that make sense? Let's see what's in here. Before, I always like to open it to make sure. Um... Mission briefing. It's like we're given, like, for Palmer. We're given all this stuff for Palmer. Like, this is your mission briefing right here. I don't know if you guys can read that. Here, I'll zoom in on certain things here. See that? Code name, etc. The specifics of the mission. Expected assistance, assistance, etc. That's kind of different. Like, you rip... It's cool, because they all give you this thing, and they rip it apart. And then, oh, I'm going to put this back in anyway. Um... There we go. Nothing special there. I mean, it's kind of neat. These are neat, but uh, nothing overly crazy. Now, what is this? I have a feeling I'm going to like this. Oh, wow. Okay, basically, this paper, I don't know what it's made out of. This is completely different. This is really different. Uh, it's got Gabriel Thorne here. It's upside down. I apologize. Gabriel Thorne. But on the back, it's got the Spartans, his Spartan gear. Can you guys read that? Or can you see it? Ah, I'll kind of pan it up a bit for you. See that? It's got a Spartan, uh... This thing is different. It's made out of... See, look, it's got different, uh, classes, too. See, Scout, Geo, uh... EOD, e well, EOD. I call it EOD. Soldier, Orbital... Uh, Pathfinder, and Hazop. What else is there? Scout, T.I. Iron Man to them. That's kind of interesting. This paper, I can't explain it. This, this material is very different. I've never seen too many things like that. Alright, what else? Before we get into the actual game, there's another thing. It looks like a Ziploc bag, though. These look like art. This looks like art here. So I'm... Oh, oh no, hold on. Here's your... Bonuses too. All right, let's see. I thank for Xbox customer support. What a wonderful bonus. Um, what else is this? What is this? Uh, I have a 14-day Xbox Live Gold trial. Probably would never need that. Um, game add-on. What is this for? This is limited edition digital content. Blah blah blah. blah. Gives you war games, map packs, specializations, Spartan. Four recruit avatar armor, crown to av avatar prop. Oh my god, look at all this shit you gotta enter. My god. Thing is, I might give some of this stuff away. Like, look, it, they give you different codes. They give you a code for um the male. They have a male avatar and the female avatar. Now, I would probably want to give away the female avatar to a female gamer. You know what I mean? So here, here I'll show you. This is what it is, and then over here's your uh, avatars. If the the thing would focus, takes a second. There, Do you guys see that for male and female. I'll be using the male one, but I won't be using the female one. So maybe I'll give that away to a female fan. If you female, or, why am I calling them females? It's not stupid. If you ladies, there you go. If you ladies are interested in that sort of thing, maybe I'll do that. Make it fair. I'm not going to just post it. I want to confirm you're a lady. I don't want some guy just using it for his crap because he gets his jollies off on that. People are weird. Uh, what else? Did I, I didn't look at this one. What is this one? Special edition. Oh, wow. I didn't know it came with this. Look, I'm, I'm going to cover up the code, but I'm going to show you this to you. This gives you, if it would focus, Halo limited edition code below unlocks your access to a special edition of Halo 4 Forward Under Dawn, which is the live action series. Uh, follow the instructions to download. That is so cool. I didn't even know that had that. Experience the story of Halo 4 from its beginning with Forward Unto Dawn. That is really cool, actually. I, I actually like that. 
So this is where the, basically the limited edition stuff really comes into play. Um, Halo 4 sold separately. Okay. Thanks. Uh, but I'm going to put all these back in there in the little pouch that it comes with. I like this with the materials they're using for all this stuff. You can tell it's not really the cheapest of materials. Uh, it, it just seems like you're getting a, a briefing case for your Spartan. And like this little Ziploc bag. I mean, uh, you could probably reuse a Ziploc bag for other things. UNSC. That's so neat. Alright, now. Uh, let's get into... I'm going to open this to make sure there's no... Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, where's my instruction book? Are you serious? There's no instruction book? Well, regardless. This is like a super nice steel book. Take a look at this. This is a steel book. I love these steel books. Halo 4, the UNSC cover, uh, blank on the back. But it's really cool. You know, I'm going to open this up. You're not going to... It's actually blue inside. No, no... I just said this... No, uh, oh, here, there's me. Hello, hello. Anyway, no, uh, uh, what do you have? No, um, blah. Instruction book for some bizarre reason, but I can put all these little pouches in here. And you've got your game discs on the, you got your game disc here. This is for disc one. Disc two, I don't know. Does the story actually cover disc two? It might be on disc two as well, maybe the multiplayer. But that's your disc, so let me take this off and just take a look and see if there's anything underneath, like a picture or something like that. Oh, I hate ones like this. You pretty much have to snap your disc to get it out. No, nothing, nothing else. Just a, uh, just more of the blue. That's really nice. You know, for a limited edition, uh, do you, is this stuff worth it from what I've seen? Uh, you get all these bonuses. Those aren't worth much at all. Um, the steelbook alone, I like steelbooks. I don't care what anybody says. Steelbooks are so nice. They make every like little things look like ridiculously good. And all these little pouches, I like even with this stuff, I'd say this is this edition's a little overpriced. I think this would have more been like an eighty dollar, um, an eighty dollar limited edition as opposed to a hundred dollar one. Yeah, this is a hundred bucks. I showed you everything that it comes with. And the in-game content, for 100 bucks, you think you get a little figurine or something, but you don't. So that's kind of surprising. Um, if this was an $80 thing, $79.99, yes, I'd say it'd be worth it. But it, I, for that extra 20 bucks, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, it's just mine. Like, you got these books, but I never really use these. You know, you never really look at these. Like, when are you ever going to read this stuff? It, the papers, I could probably have made that stuff myself. But the steel book is something I like when it comes to games. This casing, if I ever wanted to hold it all in it, which I probably would, because I think it looks really sharp. Um, it does take up a lot of space, though. It's the only down the side. Uh, so, god dang. Anyway, but that's just the casing. And uh, it is really... I like this edition, especially for the steel book. The steel book is really nice. I think the steel book makes the games look so good, instead of just some bland case that you got. So... That's the unboxing for Halo 4 Limited Edition. A little overpriced in my opinion, but regardless, some pretty nice things here. So it's up to you what edition you want to get, obviously. Whatever you think is worth it by judging from here. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go to sleep and start early uh, playing with my broski, uh, actually. So we're going to be starting that and playing through this co-op. So stick around for that game, for this gameplay. And uh, yeah, so the... Anyway, I won't mention that, but we'll keep it going. So thanks, guys, for watching this game unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the footage, and we'll see you guys in-game.